Good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Year to you, man. Hey, this is going to be a good year. First, my Cowboys NFC champions made it to the second round of the playoffs. And then my Clemson Tigers. Yep. Always been down with the 803. You know, I'm a South Carolina boy. You know, so it's going to be a good year. It really is. <laughs> but, hey, guys, on a more serious note, man, um, man, I just feel this year is going to be awesome, not just for that, but just in general, man, for the people of God and just for, you know, people in general. You know, Sunday, man, we had an awesome time in church Sunday, the first service of the new year. We had an awesome time. You know, and, you know, we started a series called The Power of a New You, The Power of a New You, you know, and God just started dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. And, you know, Sunday we talked about, you know, the first thing we need to do to have a power of a new you is to change our attitude, is to have a new attitude, a new attitude towards God, a new attitude towards the church, a new attitude towards giving, a new attitude towards servanthood, man. You know, just a new attitude, you know, with all those things in um, in general, you know. And so I, I did I want to do this video just to 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 reiterate again, man, this is a new you. This is a new season. And I know we make New Year's resolutions where everybody said, hey, you know, I want to do this. Or I want to do that. You know, I want to do this this year. I want to change this. I want to change that. But hey, guys, the Bible talks about and we said this Sunday. That you can't pour new wine into old wine skin because the new ferment of the wine, the new wine would tear up the old wine skin. You cannot try to do things new. You can't get God to pour new stuff into you or to take you new places with the same old habits, with the same old attitude, with the same old ways. So if you want your situations to change, if you want your financial situation, your relationship situation, your, your career situation, whatever it is. If you wanted to change, change must first start with you. All right. We must first change us. So when God start bringing the new stuff in, it won't destroy us. And, you know, and the best way to start is start with God. We talked about it. start with God. Church matters, guys. Church matters. You know, um, and everyone said in this video, I want you to really, really, like I said Sunday, really, why don't you give God six months of being faithful to church? serving in his kingdom. Don't sit at home. Don't say, well, I got this going. Everybody got some excuse. Everybody got something going on. Why don't you give God the first six months? What could he do in your life? What, what would happen if you changed you? If you said, you know what? I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to really get in God. I'm going to really get in church. I'm going to be a part. I'm going to be a part. I'm going to give God six months. I'm going to be a part. Yeah, I came to breath of God. Yeah, I've been around breath of God, but I'm really going to do. I'm going to be in church every Sunday. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to learn. Why not try nothing new? I don't try everything else. Why not try nothing new? Why Why not do it different in 2019? You cannot, we, we, we cannot want God to do something bigger and better for us in 2019 with the same 2018 happens. It ain't going to work. Even with me as a pastor. Yes. Why not try something new? So, yeah, I am challenging you. I'm challenging you to be different this year. I'm challenging you to get a part this year. I'm challenging you this year, this year to really join, to really get in, to lock hands with us. I'm challenging you this year to say, I'm going to work in the kingdom of God. I'm going to do this church thing. I'm going to get in part. It's like I told you about, we, we, I'm, we interested in a movement this year. That's what we call it, the movement. We interested in a movement this year. My goal this year that God has placed on me is to get you moving, to get you the the power to move, to get you moving. It doesn't matter if you go from A to B. That's movement. Some people can go from A to Z. Good. Some people can only go from A to B. It doesn't matter as long as you move, as long as you do something different. Be in church this Sunday for part two. We're going to talk about the power of a new mouth, of the power of talking different, the power of positive speaking. Be in church this Sunday. Let's pack the house. No, no, no. Let's pack the house. Don't say, oh, I'm tired. Get up. Get dressed. Get there. Give God something to work with. Give him, let God see that you, God, I'm trying. How many of us, if we see our kids trying to do something or trying to better themselves, we won't put in effort with them. We won't do everything in our power to make them successful. Same thing with God.
When God see one of his children that are tired, who are hurting, who are stressed out, who are depressed, but yeah, I'm going to make my way to be in church, to hear word. I'm going to make my way to be in the house of God. I'm not going to let nothing stop me. God is going to give you extra, extra strength. God is going to bring people in who's going to help push you forward. God is just going to open doors for you. But it starts. All right. God bless you. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you Sunday. I'm so excited about the power of new mouth. Man, I'm so excited about this whole series of power for new you. All right. It's just, man, I'm so excited about it because I can see myself change. I can see just people in general who who are coming and changing. People are hitting, been hitting us up like, man, that service, that message Sunday, that was right on time. We're going to do this thing, Pastor. And I got faith for you. All right. Come on. Let's pet the house Sunday. I'm believing God for 125 people. Believe with me. All right, guys. I love you. God bless you. And again, as always, you the head and not the tail. This you got power to win. You have the power to move. And how about my Cowboys? And we are Clemson. <laughs> love you. God bless.